We saw Tyler at the time of his initial relapse of his osteosarcoma um, in May of 2017. Um, we saw him as part of the Precision Genomics Program. Um, and through that clinical consult, um, we did clinical sequencing as well as research-based sequencing of his tumor as well as of his own DNA from his blood um, to try to understand what was driving his tumor to grow at that time. Um, that facilitated our selecting um, four medications, um, traditional cytotoxic chemotherapy, really in combination with novel um, small molecule targeted inhibitors um, to, uh, th that we felt together in combination um, would be safe and potentially effective um, at either stopping or slowing down um, tumor growth. Yeah, I know I tell people that was how the research has been done. I wouldn't would be here be able to speak to you at all because of the genomic testing that was done with tumor. You know, those drugs that were found basically prolonged my life. So, you know, one of the challenges that we face in pediatrics um, is that the number of tumor models, particularly from relapsed solid tumors, um, is, are, are very few, few and far between. Um, and in order for us to have laboratory models to study not just upfront cancer, but specifically the bad actors that come back, we have to have models in the lab to be able to study those. Um, and so, again, one of the really amazing things and very unique things about the samples and models that we were able to collect and develop from Tyler is that we not only have a sample from the time of his relapse prior to relapse chemotherapy, um, but also from after he got chemotherapy. So we can understand what we call the tumor adaptive response, how it changes after exposure to chemotherapy, um, and, and also have both of those models to study in the laboratory. As people continue to donate, that that, that, that that will prolong other kids' lives as well. And that hopefully that because of that, that those kids will basically become advocates for research, that they would be able to prolong other kids' lives and that that become a snowball effect. And that we would be able to prolong hundreds of thousands of kids' lives.